what we have done so far is we've worked on feeling our, our feeling our harmony and rhythm in a solo way in the context of a blues, right? So in other words, we're playing the blues and we t play, a, play a solo, solo part. We, we feel strong time, we feel strong harmony to the best we can and bring everybody else in together. So now, and, and, and in the context of, of a constant blues going and everybody taking their turns, now what we'd like to explore, I think, is, is the idea of using that, we can use it on another kind of tune as well, um, the idea of uh, taking that skill that, we're, that, we're t that we've been talking about, which applies to normal jazz soloing, but now we're gonna, not, we're gonna take it out of that meaning and put it into a different meaning, which is the idea that we can use it as a presentational tool in a, in a, in a, a performance of a tune where a person plays, plays solo at first to set up a new tune. So whatever the tune is, you, pl you play something that then indicates, you play something that's creative, that's part of the tune, and then it's it 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 um, at the right at, at at a place that you can decide as as a soloist, it brings the tune in the right place.